My dad received the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo manual coffee machine from Review by You. I helped him put together this video, showing you what came in the box and testing the machine by grinding some freshly roasted coffee beans to make an espresso, a cold brew, and my dad's favorite coffee, a latte. What came in the box? Inside the box, there was the DeLonghi coffee toolkit box, a mini drip tray for shorter cups, and a milk jug. The machine weighs 9.3 kilograms and has a metal color. It has a dishwasher safe removable drip tray, which contains a water level indicator, and a built-in steam wand. The coffee machine has three preset recipes, which were espresso, long black, and cold brew. It could also dispense hot water. The pressure gauge is there to make sure you disperse a great espresso each and every time. The coffee machine has an integrated grinder with eight different settings ranging from fine to coarse. It provides a consistent dose for the different types of coffee beans being used. Next to the grinder, there's a storage space. To the machine has a height of 400 millimeters, a width of 275 millimeters, and a length of 365 millimeters. The removable water tank can hold up to 1.7 liters of water. The body is made of stainless steel with a matte finish. The machine can fit a cup up to 12 centimeters tall, but it has a stand for shorter cups. The stainless steel milk jug feels great. At the coffee toolkit were some instructions, warranty cards, and the usual paperwork, as well as a water hardness test. single and double doses filter and a metal porter filter. There was a dosing and tamping guide for the porter filter to avoid mess. A metal tamper, soft balls to soften the water, echo to caulk for descaling, a cleaning needle for the steam wand, a tamping mat to apply a consistent pressure and level, and a brush for cleaning. When preparing to make coffee, fill your tank with water. Plug in the machine and switch on the main power button. When setting up the last specialista for the first use, set a container under the water spout. Press OK to rinse. This process will clean the internal components of the coffee machine. Then insert the filter basket into the porter filter and attach the porter filter. Return the container and press OK again. This is to ensure the filter and porter filter are clean. Push the steam button and let the steam flow out for a few seconds. For optimal steam performance, it's recommended you repeat this action three or four times. This is to purge the steam arm before frothing or steaming your milk. The Latte Art Steam One makes it easy to texture milk into silky microfoam and it is cool touch for safe handling. To make coffee, we purchased the Longi Signature Beans. They were more dark, with chocolate toasted nut spice and hints of caramel. The first step is to add your fresh beans into the hopper. Fill it in with the quantity you need and store the rest in a vacuum container. The ideal setting depends on your coffee bean type. We started off by using 15. Next, select whether you want to use a single dose or a double dose. Slide on the dosing and tamping guide. Insert and push until you hear a click. This will activate the grinder. Tap gently on the dosing and tamping guide to level the grounded coffee. Put the porter filter into the dedicated seat on the tamping mat and use the tamper to press it down. The perfect quantity of coffee after tamping should be within the dosage line. Remove the dosing and tamping guide. Put the porter filter into the machine by twisting it anti-clockwise. Place the espresso glass onto the stand to avoid any splash. With the right settings and tamping, we achieved optimal pressure for the perfect espresso on the first try. A single dose will yield 35 milliliters of coffee, while a double dose will yield 70 milliliters. It's a great shot with a nice layer of cream and smells amazing. The shot was well balanced and had a smooth finish. Once that was done, the porter filter can be removed and the used coffee ground can be composted. My dad needs to get a knock box. Next, we'll be testing the cold brew setting using a glass filled with ice and two pumps of Monin sugar syrup. 
Grind and tap your coffee. Select cold brew and then press OK. As no pressure is produced, the millimeter will not turn to a higher position. The brewing automatically stops when complete. A single dose will yield 110 milliliters, while a double dose will yield 180 milliliters. My dad really enjoyed the cold brew. It was smooth and very refreshing. He can't wait to try other mixed drinks with this option. Again, we put the used coffee grounds aside to be composted. Finally, we'll be making a latte with frothed milk. My dad extracted a single shot of espresso into a latte glass. Run the steam wand by pressing on the steam button. My dad is using soy milk for his latte. He poured the liquid into a jug just below the spout. After watching many YouTube tutorials, he tilted the jug and turned on the steam. He tried to achieve a sound similar to paper ripping. Once it was finished, he turned on the wands again to empty any milk residue and wiped it down. He tried to create latte art, but failed, miserably. Hopefully he will improve with time. He likes to call the art he makes abstract art. The latte had the perfect ratio with two thirds milk and one third espresso.